How's it going everybody? YouTube, Kennedy Dealer here and today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm actually working on a tutorial right now. I don't know when that's going to be out. It's kind of like a windbreaker zip up hoodie thing. It's going to take some time to actually do and record and all that stuff. I kind of want to do this montage video, kind of, you know, reflect on what I've done on my channel so far. It's also good to laugh at the past. So yeah, I'm going to throw this little montage for you guys. Hope you guys like it. Hey, what is up YouTube? Ken Andrew Daily here. Basically to show you guys how to change your snap back to a strap back. So without further ado, let me get on with the tutorial. Alright, so these are the type of materials you're gonna need. So that's pretty much all the tools you're gonna need. And here is a clip of me cupping my pants for no apparent reason. Like looking at right now, if I never told you, you would have never noticed. And you probably still don't know where it is yet. Because Say you go to a party and you're hitting your doggy. So I kind of just uh, freeballed it because it's very crucial because you don't want no nasty, unsymmetrical tank top. It's cool. Like if you have an obsession with cats, go and collect all the cats that you want. You will never get a date. eHarmony will even accept your application. Well, I put a hammer on earlier. It's the same effect. Same effect. And you guys are probably like, what the heck is a custom sock? Like, why do I even want to make one? Why am I watching this video? Uh, here is an example of the one I did. It has like a little, little fabric at the bottom here. So here's the other extended t-shirt I did. Cuffed, short sleeve jacket with the slits on the side. Here's what it looks like on me, guys. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this custom pocket for your hoodie. Go out and make people look jealous. But after all the sewing, you just want to go throw it on, rock it outside. Uh, custom sleeves, pretty dope. And you got the cuffs, this uh, like tiger looking, flintstone looking uh, fabric. Uh, your regular old five panel with a buckle on the back. To make a beanie from scratch, one color up top, one color on the bottom, baggy up top, skinny on the bottom. A bucket hat from scratch, it's actually pretty hard. So uh, for all those haters who like to dislike videos, uh, you're actually still helping them. Two toned button up, one color way on top, one color on the bottom. So as you can see, it got the stripes over here on the elbows. Dope customized sleeves, a Ken Andrew Daily style button ups, and so here is an example of a double body T-shirt. Two different pants that I made with two different cuffs. Tell me which one you guys like more or which one has the better look. You never let anything destroy your dreams. Just do what you want to do in life and don't let anyone tell you no. You know what's about to go down. I'm, I'm sitting in a random spot of my little apartment here talking in front of a camera. Your new zipped t-shirt, sweater, jacket, or whatever. How to put custom cuffs on your t-shirt sleeves. Fabric this hem tape will give the baseball jersey a professional ball player look and you're about to ball like you playing basketball but you ain't a basketball player, you're a ball player. But anyways, to make your own DIY custom panel. I put one on my t-shirt, it's like a triangle or arrow looking thing. How to make a basketball jersey from Rat. Hope you guys like that little montage I threw together, kind of the new stuff, kind of the funny stuff on my channel, kind of the other stuff, you know, just to recollect on this year of YouTube, year and a half. I had wanted to do a montage a while back, but you know, it just, I didn't have enough content to do it. But anyways, I just want to say thank you to all the people that's been effing with me from the start, all the subscribers, all the viewers, everyone that just kind of, you know, watches my videos just cuz. Thank you, because without you guys, I would not be here. It's like, without your guys' support, without you guys', you know, pe without people watching my videos, uh, these tutorials would be non-existent. So I just want to say thank you once again. But anyways, guys, that's the video. Always remember to keep it daily, and peace.